This video is going to show what an assignment looks like from the student side and then we'll also talk about some different ways that you can collect things from the students. So um, right now I am in this course as a student and I'm just in, I just made a sample assignment here. So I'm going to just click on it. And because I just threw this together just as a demonstration, typically you would have some sort of instructions or something for the kids to do in here. But what we'll do is since um, I'm just pretending that I'm submitting this as a student, I'm just going to go over to the side here. All the students will, will see this button to submit to the assignment. If you would go into your assignment as the teacher, you won't see this button over here. All right, so if you click Submit Assignment, there are actually th three different places where kids could submit something to you. So the first option is to upload. And most of the time when we think of upload, um, we're just thinking like we're uploading a file. So depending on what you're having your kids do for you, you could have them upload that Word document, that PowerPoint, um, or you may have to be creative in how you're actually viewing what the kids are working on. So if they're doing something hands-on, they might not have like a physical document that you would traditionally get from them, but they could potentially take a picture of it and then maybe potentially email the pic picture to themselves so they can submit it to a Schoology Dropbox or something. So this file doesn't have to be like the traditional Word document or anything like that. Um, think about it as if you wanted them to upload like a picture or something like that as well. But then one option that can sometimes get hidden as well is an audio or video recording. So they can actually do some sort of recording submission within Schoology. And just off the top of my head, I'm thinking if, for example, if you were a Spanish teacher and you wanted to hear your kids um, speak or, or, or do a, something specific with your language that you're teaching, um, you could have them record the audio or video that they, you could actually see them in the camera um, doing it as well. Um, but this could be potentially something that um, even if they're doing something hands-on at their house, um, you could have them just do the video recording and they could just basically talk about whatever it is that they were creating or working on and then they submit it to you directly through Schoology. So there are a couple uh, opportunities there for that. Um, another spot where they could um, be able to get you information is if they hit the Create tab. Essentially what this does is it creates a spot where they could type in whatever their answer is. Um, going along with that, they can also insert images or media. So if you wanted your kids to create a website or create something that essentially they would have to get a link for, um, you could have the kids submit their link directly into this area. And this would be how you'd be able to go in and view it. And then uh, what's kind of nice is since they gave it to you as a link, when you would go to grade it, um, you could essentially just click on the link and it'll just take you to wherever they, they need to go for it. Um, if you do have the kids share something with you um, that they're submitting, make sure that you're explicit in your instructions to have them share the link, like a share link, and not the link that they would just get to to get it from their account. Um, I've noticed this from my practice that the kids will sometimes just go to the top URL bar and then just copy the code rather than get the, the share link that would allow anybody to view whatever they're working on. And then the third way that the kids would be able to get something quickly, um, and I don't know that this would be something that they'd use that often, if they would click the resources tab, um, if they had something saved in OneDrive, for example, they could go into the apps. OneDrive will already be most likely set up for them and then they can go and quickly find like whatever document they'd have in here and that would allow them to attach that document to that to that submission area. So hopefully this uh, gives you some ideas for some potential and it just gives you a chance to see what that student submission looks like and uh, hopefully we're able to support any ideas that you come up with for collecting student work.